Beginning in 2016, the Delaware Department of Transportation embarked on a multi-contract effort to reconstruct the SR-141 interchange with I-95. This project involved replacing aging bridges and improving both traffic operations and safety. With such a large effort, it was broken up into multiple contracts. The first contract covered the southern end of the project area, and the second contract completed the work on the northern side of the project, including the intersection with Commons Boulevard. The goals were to reconstruct the roadway and bridges, reconfigure the ramps to improve safety, and widen the roadway with new lanes to improve capacity. To successfully complete the project, innovation was key. Some of the features included accelerated bridge construction, a queue detection system to monitor backups on I-95, and redirect traffic if necessary, and unique temporary signals that metered mainline and ramp traffic. One of the most constraining traffic operations during construction was anticipated to occur at the two I-95 off-ramps to SR-141, ramps K and N. The project team knew the staged construction at the two ramp locations would eliminate any opportunity to maintain the ramp merge or acceleration lanes onto SR-141. High SR-141 traffic volume would not provide for sufficient gaps to allow ramp traffic to enter the roadway safely during peak traffic periods. A common temporary setup is to include a stop sign at the ramp intersection with SR-141. However, our analyses showed ramp traffic would eventually back up onto I-95 and I-295. To address the problem, we evaluated five alternatives, including both traditional and innovative solutions. Ultimately, we selected an alternative which we expected to be safe and provide the best possible operations. The selected alternative divided the two through lanes along northbound and southbound SR-141 using a traffic separator. The left lanes maintained free flow operations and the right lanes were signalized at the intersection with the ramp. This atypical setup was selected to minimize delays for both 141 and ramp traffic, to avoid ramp traffic backing up onto the interstate, and to better line up 141 traffic for downstream ramp movements. Due to the unique signal operation, there were some issues when first activated. Initially, driver confusion led to vehicles along SR-141 stopping in the free-flow lane when the signalized lane would show a red ball. In addition, the signalized lane was initially avoided by drivers as they tried to access the free-flow lane. This created uneven lane utilization along SR-141. Both of these issues were anticipated and were only observed for the first week or two after the initial activation at Ramp K. While the specific issues were related to the unique temporary signal setup, most construction phase changes take some time for motors to get used to the new traffic pattern. No issues were observed when the ramp end signal was activated two months later, and drivers were very comfortable with that setup from day one. After driver comfort increased, the temporary traffic signals provided great results. No vehicles stopped in the free flow lane. Lane utilization was relatively balanced, and queue lengths did not extend and impact the interstate system. Ultimately, this solution provided a safe and effective way to manage traffic in a complex work area. DelDot is always looking to improve safety, reduce congestion, and utilize innovative solutions to meet those goals. The SR-141 project is a great example of that. Due to the success on this project, we're looking forward to using these types of unique temporary traffic signals on future DelDot projects.